Hi, I'm John Cash. Welcome to John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church's Daily Devotion. Today I want to talk about the subject that some of us deal with on a constant basis, and that is this, standing with God when others do not. We live in a country that is getting further and further away from God, His principles, and of course, His Word. And sometimes we can feel like we're the only ones left, or our little small group, or our little small church, the only ones left following God. Well, you know, I think Noah might have felt that way. You know, when you look at Genesis chapter 6, and we're going to be looking at verses 5 through 8, we find God looking down at the earth, and there's just complete wickedness. And he judges this wickedness, and he causes the flood. Now, I want to preface this by explaining to you how long, how much time had gone by between Adam and Eve and the creation and Genesis chapter 6 and the flood. It was over 1,600 years went by. It's a lot of time. So, you know, Adam and Eve, the story of Adam and Eve, and all of that were a distant memory to these people. And they were basically doing their own thing and not following God. And God was not happy. And he judged them. Take a look at the verses. Verse 5 the Bible says, then the Lord, and I'm using the New King James Version here um, on the screen using the, um, the uh, NIV. He said this, then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Now, folks, imagine practically everybody on the earth who were living completely evil. Every inclination of the heart was evil. Their lifestyles were evil. I mean, that's really kind of hard to imagine because even evil people do nice things. Here, we just find the entire earth was corrupt. Now, understand at this time, they did not have the Ten Commandments. They did not have the Law of Moses. They certainly did not have Jesus. And so they were just living on fumes from the story of Adam and Eve, and pretty much that was forgotten as well. And so what we see is mankind totally corrupt. Mankind had gone their own way, had erased God from the equation, and they were evil. The thoughts of their hearts, continually evil. And the Bible says in verse 6, and the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. You're not going to find that anywhere else in Scripture. There was so much evil in the world. God was grieved in his heart. He was sorry he even created them in the first place. Now, folks, what you see coming up next is judgment. The flood was God's judgment on sin. And it's important to understand that God is long-suffering, that God is a forgiving God, God is full of grace and full of mercy, but there is a point that society reaches or we can reach where God changes tactics and he says it's now time for discipline and judgment. He had reached that point here. In verse 7, the Bible says, So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing, birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. So there is going to be complete destruction. Let me explain to you the spiritual principle here, okay? God wants to vanquish evil. He wants to completely eradicate it. Now, the beautiful part about Jesus Christ is that's exactly what Jesus does. When he forgives us of our sins, they are forgiven. They are gone. They are vanquished, okay? Now, as we grow as Christians, he wants us to vanquish and get rid of more and more evil and become more and more like him. And so we see the whole concept of getting rid of evil right here in Genesis chapter 6 with the great flood. We saw this with Israel. When, when God had Israel and the Jewish people go into the promised land, he said, get rid of all the evil people. God wants to get rid of evil. What is going on in your life? That is not of God, that sin, that's evil, that God says, vanquish, get rid of it. He can do it for you. You just have to desire it. Now listen, in the midst of a country that's turning evil, a reminder, there are always people serving God. Elijah thought he was the only one 
but he wasn't, according to God. There were thousands who were still following God. But in verse 8, we find Noah. The Bible says Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Why? Because Noah loved God and followed God. And so, folks, understand this. In the midst of a country where our culture is getting further and further away from God, maybe some of your friends and family members who used to go to church don't go anymore and they've adopted terrible lifestyles, understand there are other people out there like Noah, like Elijah, like the prophet. There are people out there who love God. Go find them. Go ask God to put them into your life to strengthen your walk with him. That's why we have church for that type of fellowship and to strengthen our walks. God bless you. Thank you for your support of John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church.